glycolysis is a process where cells take sugars beginning with glucose it is able to break them down into a form that eventually will allow for the evolution of carbon dioxide and energy so this really is the first step of respiration you can see the word glyco refers to glucose lysis means to split apart so what we're really looking at is the breakdown of glucose into carbon dioxide and energy that will then be usable by cells process starts out using glucose there's an enzyme called hexokinase that requires ATP it releases ADP and it gives us a molecule called glucose 6-phosphate this then undergoes a reaction using a phosphoglucoisomerase to create fructose 6-phosphate glucose is blood sugar fructose is fruit sugar and you can see that this reaction in here is able to take one and transform it into the other this reaction is totally reversible the fructose 6-phosphate gets picked up by an enzyme called phosphofructoisomerase and again this is going to use ATP and it's going to create fructose 1,6-bisphosphate so so far we've used up two ATPs the fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is picked up by an aldolase enzyme and it's split into two molecules one is dihydroxyacetone phosphate it's often abbreviated DHAP and the other one is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate which can be abbreviated G3P next what happens is there is a triose phosphate isomerase that takes the dihydroxyacetone phosphate and transforms it into a glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate so the dihydroxyacetone phosphate is somewhat short-lived and in the end out of the fructose we really get two molecules of the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate now these will continue on NAD is used to create NADH phosphorus is imported in on this and it says we get glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase as the enzyme and that's going to give us two molecules of 1,3-bisphosphoglyceric acid and you can see how these have two phosphoruses on them one phosphorus is a little bit more tightly bound than the other ADP is picked up the phosphate from the one is transferred to the ADP to make ATP and the enzyme is phosphoglycerate kinase this gives us molecule called 3-phosphoglyceric acid the 3-phosphoglyceric acid is picked up by an enzyme called phosphoglycerate mutase mutase means it's going to change it and it's going to change it into 2-phosphoglyceric acid you can see that the phosphorus unit is now moved on to the number two carbon from this an enzyme called enolase takes off a of water and we get a molecule called phosphoenol pyruvic acid or PEP and this is a important material because this actually is used in some of the other forms of carbon metabolism enzyme called pyruvate kinase comes in and you can see it takes ADP and phosphorylates it again so we're now taking the phosphorus off of the phospholinopyruvic acid and this is going to give us pyruvic acid and pyruvic acid is the end product of glycolysis so in glycolysis it says we're breaking glucose down from a six carbon sugar into two three carbon sugars and then these this material is able to go through the process by which carbon dioxide is evolved off we're going to go into the Krebs cycle and all of that so in glycolysis we're taking glucose six carbons we're splitting it in half into two units of three carbons and the end product here is called pyruvic acid if we look at energy it says over here we use two ATPs to do this whole process in the end we made four ATPs so we had a net up of two ATPs and it says we also have the production of two NADHs these two NADHs are going to go into the electron transport system and in the electron transport system they are going to be modified and many ATPs are going to be created from them